Moving on. Yes. We have reached President Trump's first 100 days. Yes. Okay. And as much as it pains me to say it, I have to hand it to the man. It has been over 100 days, and Donald Trump has not kickstarted the apocalypse yet. No, but isn't that how it felt? It was like, we made it. We've, we made it. Yeah. But 100 days. We've passed yeah. 100 day mark. But, Bella, can you get the baby, please? Cause, cause can the baby... shit start becoming sane again? But seriously, kudos to President Trump because yes. uh, in his first 100 days, he actually has accomplished a lot. He, yes. he has, he, he's done so many things. He has accomplished a lot. And so I have a list. Okay. Right here of a 13 of Trump's accomplishments in his first 100 days. 13 things that he has successfully accomplished in his first 100 days of office. And he has done a lot. He has done a lot. Okay. And I have 13 of the things that he has accomplished in his first 100 days. In no particular order, here you go. Number one, his constant attacks on Muslims has succeeded in dropping Mexicans down to the number two most hated minority in America. Yes. So Yes, and congratulations to all Mexicans out there. Yeah, and if he continues on his current road, we might drop down to number three. Sorry, Jews. <laughs> you got a lot of uh, white power people in your uh, cabinet there, uh, DT. Yeah. So uh, let's see. What else has Trump accomplished? He single-handedly helped SNL get their best ratings in decades. Yes. That was all President Trump. Thank you for that. Uh, and, and, and you do have to give it to him. Yeah. You no, do they, have to I, give it to him because, like, because now think about, okay, Saturday Night Live has, has ratings through the roof and all of that right now, okay? And the big things that we watch from SNL and the things that keep getting applauded, the things that are bringing the ratings in, are done by people that you can hardly consider cast. Yeah. 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 The, the, yeah, the, the people aren't tuning in to SNL right now for Horatio Sands. No. He's still on that fucking show? Uh, Horatio Sands? No, 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 okay. no. I uh, okay. Uh, drunk uncle. What's his name? Uh, Bobby Moynihan. That—that's yeah, okay. what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of. Bobby Moynihan. Yeah. Yeah, because because for Bobby Moynihan. Because what are they? They're all they're all Alec Baldwin doing his Donald Trump thing, and you can hardly consider him. You know, regular cast. You know, he kind of got roped into being cast because of doing Trump. Yeah. You know? So, uh, you know what I mean? And then, um... Suki. God, I love Suki. Yeah. Love her. That That is, if I have to thank Gilmore Girls for anything, it is for a deep, abiding love for Suki. Yeah. She yeah. can she cannot do anything wrong for me anymore. Yeah, no, that's it. Absolutely. So yeah. and, so is, and then it's her doing Sean Spicer, you know. And the only other thing I remember from Saturday Night Live that's not either one of those was that that takeoff commercial of, of Ivanka Trump. Yes, and that was Scarlett fucking Johansson. Yep, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, complicit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, in relation, in related news, Donald Trump also single handedly resurrected Alec Baldwin's career. So, yes. Donald Trump. Yeah, hate on him more. That's only going to help him get, get better parts from here on out, basically. And I still say, see now, and, and, and Alec Baldwin should be thankful as well. It gets him in the spotlight and the big, big fucking way and everybody loves him again you know 
but I, I still think my theory holds that Alec Baldwin does such a damn good Donald <laughs> Trump is because Alec Baldwin is exactly the same asshole that Donald Trump is. Yeah. Can you see Alec Baldwin saying, yeah, I just grabbed him by the pussy. I could totally see that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I've heard how he talks to his kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Donald Trump gave us all the present of the world's greatest punching bag in professional asshat Sean Spicer. Thank oh. you. For that. That's a great that's a great accomplishment. I'm I'm he, putting I'm putting my money down that Sean Spicer is the first one to completely crack. Just fucking yeah. crack. And yeah. and he almost did yesterday when he walked out of the fucking press conference without answering a single fucking question. Yeah, yeah. No, he's close. He's close. He's close to cracking. Um, Donald that Trump tells me, I'm sorry, that tells me here's a guy who walked out, walked over to the podium, did a little shit, and then said to himself, you know what? Just, just fuck this shit today. <laughs> I'm out. Just fuck this shit today. Yeah. I'm out. Uh, Donald uh, Trump. So I'm really waiting for Sean Spicer any fucking day now. Yeah, his no, his no, press he could blow at his, any second. Yeah, his pref con press conference is one day soon. Is going to be okay. You know what? You think it's easy? Do you think this job is easy? Yeah. Do you in try making part. some sense out of this? Do you try coming up with some cock and bull story that the American public will swallow? <laughs> yeah. In my mind, what happens is one day Sean Spicer just Brock Myers. <laughs> so, like, he walks up to the podium. He undoes his tie. He, he reaches into the podium and suddenly he's got like a shot glass and a bottle of whiskey yeah to everyone's shock he starts doing shots there <laughs> and suddenly he starts talking like there aren't press people there and he's just snorting coke off of Ivanka's ass <laughs> yeah what, what the I remember when I was young I wanted to be an astronaut now yeah. fuck it look at me yeah yeah at any second he could just totally lose it or what if he walked out at the beginning of the uh press conference and he was just dressed like the joker yeah yeah <laughs> no, i can see that too yeah he gets pushed so far to the his, he gets pushed so far that he ends up on the other side i mean he wouldn't be the joker he he might think he's the joker but you know he's still sean spicer so he's not going to cause any real damage yeah you know. Yeah. Donald Trump has not made America great again yet. And maybe he's just saving that for later. But he has made late night talk shows great again. Yes. So thank you for that. That's that's another fine accomplishment. I, and another great thing that Donald Trump has accomplished. Yeah. Well, first. before we leave TV, before we leave TV. Yeah. <laughs> You 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 gotta you gotta you really gotta hand it to to the Republicans and the staunch Trump supporters for playing the fucking homophobic card on yeah. poor Steve Colbert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Stephen Colbert, the one great thing, the one thing that I'm so happy that Donald Trump has succeeded in is the fact that Donald Trump. Uh, personally helped unseat Jimmy Fallon as the number one late night talk show host yeah. <laughs> for that president Trump. I love you for that. Cause I love Jimmy Fallon, but then eventually he's just like a bro who's playing drinking games and just yeah. fun. And so then when, when the, when the election happens and politics happens, Jimmy Fallon is still like, Oh no, I'm everybody's buddy. I don't want to yeah. talk politics. So, like, really, Donald Trump gave us Stephen Colbert back. Oh, yes. Yes. You know? Like, thank you for that. Yes. And Seth Meyers is doing a...
fucking hell of a job, too. He is. He is. I love his closer looks. Those are fucking wonderful. And I, I, I don't care how many kids Steve Colbert has. I, I don't care how long he's been married. If he's not gay, he should be. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, no, he's Christian. Yeah. It's Sunday school and shit. Yeah. Donald Trump made the entire nation fall in love with Samantha B, so that's good. Yes, yes. He Very proud of gave, her. Yeah, he basically gave Samantha B her wings, so, so good. Good for that. What, baby? What? You're fine. Baby, you don't want to be touched, so I can't hold you and not touch you. You're really confusing. You're a woman. You probably you don't know that because you're ten months old. But I can't hold you and not hold you. Okay. Uh, Donald Trump made tweeting while taking a shit the regal act of a born leader. Yes. <laughs> So that's nice. His here here's an actual fact. Here's an actual accomplishment. His constant attacks on the media literally caused millions of people to subscribe to the freaking New York Times. Yes, I know. I heard that. So all we need is for Trump to attack this podcast, and we're good to go. We are good to go. Mm-hmm. I think Amber's upset. I don't know why. I know the baby's upset. Donald Trump caused a bunch of introverted liberal snowflakes to actually go outside during high pollen season to protest. Yes. <laughs> it's a very good accomplishment. Donald Trump succeeded in getting quiet introverts to make signs and go out in public. In <laughs> large crowds of, of other introverts. Good good for you, President Trump. That's yeah. quite an accomplishment. Donald Trump not only managed to bring back jobs. He did bring jobs back. Unfortunately, on, the only jobs he's brought back are anti-Semitic jobs. Yes. <laughs> so he hasn't brought back any coal jobs or any mining jobs, but if if you are a fired anti-Semitic blogger, good news, because business is back for yes. you. Yes. Well, the way I look at it, the way I look at it is is with the rise of anti-Semitism and hate crimes. Okay. That's giving the police something to do that is not shooting black kids in the back. Yeah, they still do that, but yeah, they're more no, dabbling in it. Yeah, yeah, but they, yeah, no. I do think that all the protests are causing cops to kill blacks less, so that's good. Yeah. That's good. And finally, honest and sincerely, Donald Trump, in his first 100 days, has done the one thing that Hillary Clinton never could. Okay. Donald Trump yeah. united all of the Democrats and liberals against a common enemy. Yeah. Himself. Yes. In that sense, Donald Trump is like Darth Vader. Yeah. He killed a bunch of younglings and stuff. But he was technically the chosen one in that he brought balance to the force. Sure, millions had to die. Uh-huh. But he did bring everyone together. So so thank you, Trump. You've succeeded in getting everyone to rally against you. Yes. That's, that's, like, good job. Congratulations. That's that's good. That's a good on you. 